Hi, I'm Lucy. I'm Rosie. I'm Demi. I'm Liv. I'm Lizzie. And together, we are the first LEGO League team. At the IET, we're proud delivery partners for First LEGO League here in the UK and Ireland. First LEGO League is a global STEM programme for children and young people aged 4 to 16, split into three age divisions. Discover for 4 to 6 year olds, which is all about learning through play. Explore for 6 to 9 year olds, which is a fun introduction to coding and research. And Challenge for 9 to 16 year olds, which is a life skills robotics based competition. Now, we're going to show you exactly what teams need to do for First LEGO League Challenge. There are four elements to First LEGO League Challenge. The robot game, where teams program an autonomous robot to complete a series of LEGO missions linked to the theme. Robot design. So this is where teams have to really think about how they design their robot, what coding they'll use, and which missions they'll choose to attempt in the robot game. The innovation project. This is linked to the year's theme and teams will research and identify a problem, then create an innovative solution. And core values. This underpins absolutely everything that teams do. First LEGO League isn't just a robotics competition. It's about teaching young people valuable life skills too that will be vital for the future workforce. Teams work through a series of guided sessions towards an event. It could be a regional event, which happen across the UK and Ireland, or a class pack event, which are held in the school. Whichever one it is, the event is the competition where all their ideas, research and hard work come together and are scored against a criteria to see who are crowned the champions. On the day of an event, teams will have three two and a half minute robot games with the best score of all three counting. They also have one 30 minute judging session in which the team will present to a panel of friendly judges about their robot design, innovation project and how they've demonstrated their core values. For the robot game, teams must design and build a LEGO Mindstorms or Spike Prime robot and then program it to complete LEGO missions on the season's themed competition table, which changes every year. Each mission is worth a certain amount of points and teams must decide which missions they want to attempt in whichever order they choose to score as many points as possible within the two and a half minute robot game. What makes this tricky is that the robot must be autonomous, which means that everything is pre-programmed. So strategy and efficiency are really important. What's great though, is that teams will get three goes at their robot game during a tournament, and only the best score is counted. So it doesn't matter if one or two of those games don't quite go to plan. Robot design is the opportunity for teams to show and explain, as the name suggests, the design of their robot. Teams will have many different versions or iterations of their robot as they work through completing the robot game missions. And this is the opportunity for teams to communicate that to a panel of judges. They'll explain the design and build of their robot, why they selected certain attachments, the strategy they chose for the robot game, and of course, their programming. Teams will present their robot design to the judges and will be scored on how well they've met set criteria. It's not necessarily about having the best or the biggest robot, or the one that scores the most points. It's about communicating their robot design ideas, mission strategies and innovation. The innovation project is centred around research, innovation and communication. Teams are challenged to identify a real world problem based around the annual theme. That's a problem that currently exists in the world and it's up to the team to identify a problem and design a solution to solve it. That solution could be an idea, a scheme or an invention. But whatever it is, the team will reach out to experts in the field to gain advice, as well as reaching out to their community to get feedback on that idea. The team will present their innovation project to a panel of judges on the day of the event. Think a Dragon's Den style pitch, in which the team present their idea in any format they deem necessary. The more creative, the better. Just like the robot design, there is a set of criteria that every team is judged against. Core values underpins everything teams do in First LEGO League. These are the skills that teams develop throughout the whole programme and is also the way in which they do everything. The six core values are discovery, innovation, impact, teamwork, inclusion and fun. There is no presentation for core values. Instead, the team need to reflect on how they've worked together and demonstrated these. They are observed throughout the whole judging session, so it's really important for teams to always have them in mind. 
as the judges will be looking out for them and scoring them. The referees will also be looking at how the team demonstrates gracious professionalism at the robot game table, which will count towards their core values overall score. We hope we've shown you some of the amazing things that the brilliant teams get up to in First Lego League Challenge. The most important thing to remember is, although it's a competition, it is what the teams learn throughout the whole process that matters, and that they have fun while doing it. Find out how you can get involved by visiting firstlegoleague.co.uk. And as always, teamwork, teamwork makes the dream work! work.